Today I'm going to tell you the story of this photograph of uh, Bob Dylan. This iconic photograph was taken in May 1966 and when the photo was taken he was waiting for the ferry to cross from Wales to England. No, he wasn't. He was waiting to cross from England to Wales. Dylan was nearing the end of his world tour when the photo was taken. This was a controversial tour because he had started to introduce electric guitar to his set. The night before the photo was taken, he was playing in Bristol and he was booed by the crowd. The same thing happened when he played in Cardiff the following night. The tour would later be known as the Judas Tour, following an infamous heckle at a Manchester concert towards the end of the tour. A few weeks after the tour, Dolan had a mysterious motorcycle accident. He claimed he had been seriously injured, but there was no record of the police being called or an ambulance being sent to the scene. He didn't tour again for eight years, but still released music on a fairly regular basis. Got the Bristol Channel just to my left here. I'm just trying to make my way down. There's a cliff here. And I need to get down to the beach, but... Um, the easiest route has been blocked off because they were doing some work on the path for some reason. So I've already had a two mile detour. Okay, I made it to the beach. So the iconic photo was used to promote Martin Scorsese. I knew I wouldn't be able to pronounce his name. Yeah, the photo was used to promote the documentary, or the Dolan documentary, No Direction Home, in 2005. And I think that's um, since then that the photo has become iconic. Many people thought that the photo might have been taken in the San Francisco Bay area, because you can see a bridge in the background, which some people assumed was either the Bay Bridge in San Francisco or the Golden Gate Bridge. But it was actually um, the first seven crossing. I'm on the England side of the border now in Gloucestershire. And uh, that's Wales, the other side of the bridge there. There's actually a much larger bridge, the second sun crossing with further in the distance. You may be able to see that later. Morning, ladies. Even though the bridge is in the picture, that you hadn't actually been completed at the time. That's why he was taking the ferry crossing uh, to avoid the 70 mile road trip. got the Oust Cliff running along here for about a mile eh? and it's an area of special scientific interest because there's a lot of uh, fossils from the Jurassic era. Haven't spotted any fossils as yet. Okay, getting closer to the bridge now. Just need to go the other side of the bridge and maybe Mm, quarter of a mile along, and that's where the photo was taken. I doubt if there's anything left of the ticket office in the photo, but um, we'll go and see what's there. Okay, now the tide is out, because uh, otherwise this would be impassable here. Okay, I've just gone under the bridge. You can see the. Um, Oh, the much larger second seven crossing over there in the distance. I think it's about, I can see where I need to go and it's about a quarter of a mile as, as I thought. The drowned desert. The coloured layers of rock in Oust Cliff tell a dramatic story of the change from desert lands to the sea some 210 million years ago, during the Triassic period. Okay, you can actually see um, the place where Dylan would have caught the ferry. There's a jetty or pier, whatever you call it, going down here. It's going down quite far because there's a massive tidal range here. There's Biggest in the world, I think, or second biggest. You'd have caught the ferry right at the end of the pier there. So I'm just going to make my way along here now and see uh, the exact spots where they took the photo, hopefully. Okay, I'm 
coming up to it now. Unfortunately, it seems to be fenced off. Okay, let's try and work this out now. So the um, thickest office building must have been here. See the concrete uh, base of it here. So the photo must have been taken over there somewhere. Right, about here, I think. So you can go this way. And Dolan's car would have been parked around here. The photo was taken by Brian Feinstein, an American photographer. He uh, followed uh, Dullen on the tour. He'd been charged with documenting the tour on stage and off. And he sort of, well, he kind of uh, specialised in taking behind the scene photos. He was a self-taught photographer. And he's famous for um, taking the photo of Marilyn Monroe's bedroom just after she died and there's a famous picture of the pills Marilyn's pills on the table oh yeah, Feinstein had also taken the cover picture for Dolan's album The Times They Are Changing and he was very close friends with um, Steve, Steve McQueen, the actor It was quite wet and gloomy on the day that the photo was taken. So it's a fair bet that Dullen went into the ticket office here to shelter from the rain. Okay, that's not the end of the video. The ferry that took uh, Dullen over to Wales still exists. It was rescued from, a, or it was salvaged from a beach in Ireland in 1999 and brought back to Wales and it's been currently being restored and they're going to put it on display in Chepstow in a dry dock. So I'm going to see uh, if I can find that now. I tell a lie, I'm actually going to uh, See if we can see some of the jetty. Ah, okay, so this went all the way up to where I was. And the ferry docked just this side of it. And it went over to Wales and the ticket office on the Wales side is just uh, by the foot of the bridge there, to the right of it. Oh god, just had an incident. There's a big hole here. <laughs> Gonna have to be careful. Oh god, can't get my foot out. Blimey. Oh gosh. Oh, look at that. Okay, so <laughs> if you come in here, be careful. Going back towards the old ticket office now. Just seen some people walk down here. I thought the path was completely closed, so I might have taken a bloody two mile detour for nothing. Oh, yeah, I was right. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I 
that's what I saw. And I assumed the, the destined diversion was that way. I went over to Chepstow to try and find the ferry. I did find it, but unfortunately it's located between two housing developments and there's no way to access it at the moment. So this is the closest I could get, uh, just filming through a gap in the fence. Okay, thanks for watching the video today. Uh, the next video will be about John Bonham, the drummer of uh, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> So go ahead